If I don't hear from him by lunchtime, I'll text. So what makes you think she's going to do you any favours anyway? All she's done so far is slap you. That was an act. She's here because I called her. I made out like I was worried about her dad's safety. I told her Chrissy isn't his, that he's changed his will and then suddenly he gets shot. And I didn't tell you because I wasn't sure she'd actually come. I know it's a long shot, but anything to get under Chrissy's skin, shake things up a bit. Might help Andy. I'm just surprised after the way you treated her sister, she's even listened to you. I'm persuasive. So, tomorrow... The pint? Well, the funeral reception, are you going out? Who was it to you? Because Adam's my mate. And so are you. Well, not for much longer if you keep this up. Why are you nagging me anyway? You heard Maura, she doesn't want me there. Well, of course she wants you there. She just wants to tell you not to come and then she wants you to come anyway. Women's intuition. I didn't find it easy going to Gordon's funeral either, you know. But I went for Liv. And because I'm not a baby. Have you finished? Hey, who you taking a note with? She don't want you there, she said as much. So don't you be selfish. So, any news? I don't know. They don't like talking about it. I don't even know if I want to do this, so maybe you shouldn't hassle me so much. What, you're not worried about your dad? Surely you want to know where you stand, at least do the DNA test. Well, do the test, easy as that. I'm saying that if you want to know, here's your chance. Yeah, I'll do it. But remember, no matter what some lab decides, and no matter what you think about them, they are the only family I've got. <laughs>